Hi, this is Lynette from Kits and Bits. The following video is an extract from my webinar, Beautify Your Business. This video looks at customising your colour palette in Microsoft Word. To access the entire webinar recording, you can subscribe to my newsletter and the private link will be emailed to you. Now, all of the colours here are in my uh, branding colours. Uh, so you can see my logo. I've then replicated those colours throughout the document. Um, but what most people don't know is that in Word, you can actually create your own brand colours, which you can then apply to every document that you create. So to access these, we go to the Design tab, and then we have this Colours button over here. Now I've got a list of all my uh, clients' colours that I've used for different templates, and as I scroll through them, you can actually see the colours on my document uh, change colour. So the, the, my logo doesn't because that's actually an image, um, but the actual colours throughout the document will change depending on which brand I've selected here. Okay, so we're going to the Design tab, and then we're going to this Colours uh, palette, and we've got all of these custom colour sets here that I've already designed. Uh, there's also some standard office ones, so if you actually haven't got a brand yet, but you just want to make sure that you're using a consistent brand, um, then you can um, you can choose one of those and then get as close to yours as what you'd like as possible. It gives you a good opportunity to, to try things out. But you can also create your own. So um, in here I can click on Customise Colours. Uh, Tara, I'm using Office 2013 at the moment, but it, this applies from Office 2003, colour palettes do. They're just in a different place, uh, but from 2007, they're all uh, in the same space. So on the Design tab in Colours, and then I can create a new custom colour set. Uh, and then I can change the colours in here. So there, you can pick from the, the palette, um, and if you've got the normal Microsoft theme to begin with, it'll have different colours. But if you've actually got a brand and you've got your colours from your designer, you can go into more colours and you can um, pick and choose the specific red, green and blue um, colouring. Um, you can't do CMYK in here, that's, a, that's an image editing thing, so uh, work, Office only works off RGB. If you need to find the RGB, so if you've only got a different colour um, style, so CMYK or uh, a hex code or something like that from the website, you can actually go to a, a website like Colour Hex that will actually uh, translate it for you and then you can put the RGB in here. So I can go in here and I can go 56, 73 and 132, uh, whatever that colour might be and it will preview that colour for me and then I can say OK and then if I was to apply that that colour scheme would then be applied across the whole document. So you can apply that to all of the accents um, and colours. And uh, you can do it to the text. See it, love it, and we'll use it. Beautiful, that's what I wanted to know. If you get nothing else out of today, this is one of my favourite things to show people, so I'm really um, happy that you've got that. Uh, and you can do it to all of your colours so that if you... Um, you know, want to use in your tables, you always want to use a dark grey. Um, it's, yeah, that's really good. Uh, you can also set your text as well and it will give you previews and things like that. Um, and your hypercolors also, hyperlink colors will also, sorry, I just had a flashback to the 80s there with a hypercolor t shirt for some reason. Uh, <laughs> um, you can uh, set the hyperlink colors as well. Um, and the great thing is, is that now that we've done that in Word, we don't have to redo it in Excel and PowerPoint, uh, etc. We just have to apply it. Uh, and that's very simple. And I'm going to show you how to do that. That's all for this video. Check out the follow-up videos of how to apply the colour palette in PowerPoint and Excel. And to access the entire webinar recording, you can subscribe to my newsletter and the private link will be emailed to you. Or you can take a look at my other videos on the Kids and Myths channel.